I'm John K. Coyle, the Time Guy, and welcome to Episode 7 of Beyond the Podium. I'm here in sunny, well, I guess the sun is setting, in Atlanta, and uh, heading home tomorrow to Chicago if the uh, snow doesn't keep me from doing so, and then off to Pyeongchang in a few days. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite skaters of all time, and somebody who I know pretty well and spent a great deal of time suffering with, uh, Dan Jansen. So for those who don't know the story, his, his amazing journey over 10 years. In 1984, young Dan Jansen managed to get fourth place at the Winter Olympics in Sarajevo. Now, there's something, unfortunately, terrible about fourth. You're one off the podium, no medal, you're probably a couple hundredths of a second away from the third, and nobody will remember you. Just the sad reality of the difference between third and fourth. And Jerry Seinfeld has a great uh, show on that. So, fast forward, and uh, Dan, going into the 1988 Olympics, world record holder, uh, world sprint champion, highly favored in both the 500 and 1,000 meters, and on February 14th, 1988, as he's getting ready to go out for his 500 meters, uh, he is informed that his sister, uh, Jane, had died that same morning. Uh, Dan goes on to fall in the 500 meters, and a couple days later, fall in the 1,000 meters, again, coming up medalist. Fast forward four more years. We're in 1992, Albertville. Again, Dan, world champion, uh, world record holder. Goes out cr pretty lousy ice there, outdoor in Albertville. Ends up fourth place yet again in the Olympic Games of the 500. All right, one last shot. We had that, that divide of summer and winter games. So two years later only, Albertville, or sorry, Lillehammer, Norway. Dan, once again, uh, holding the world record in the 500 meters for the last four uh, four times. First one to skate underneath 36 seconds. Uh, world sprint champion, trading victories with Uwe Jensmai, and he goes to uh, Lillehammer. We all watched as he went off for his 500 meter and slipped, nearly fell. It was like this deja vu. We were devastated, honestly. Like There was like a, a, a depression amongst the speed skating team and I think other athletes to watch this amazing athlete yet again come up short. A couple days later was the 1,000 meter, not necessarily uh, Dan's uh, best race at this point in his career, but he shows up on the line. We all watched. We watched him skate up that line. We all watched him on world record pace. We watched as he had a minor slip in the final corner, held it together, and comes across the line for an Olympic record, a world record, and a gold medal in his final race in the Olympics 10 years after that first fourth place. Amazing story, amazing journey, uh, the kind of thing they make movies out of. Oh, wait, they have. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing Jan, Dan over in uh, Pyeongchang in a few days. And that's it for Episode 7. Tomorrow we're going to do Episode 8, uh, where we're going to talk about another skater. And uh, if you like what you're seeing here, please share it. Please uh, tune in, and I will see you again either later tonight or tomorrow. All right, we'll talk to you then.